Martyr 1, 2, and 3, Tank Destroyers. Germany's invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941, and in particular the appearance of the T-34, highlighted the Wehrmacht's urgent need for anti-tank vehicles. <coughs> Excuse me. As production was already running at capacity, and it took time to develop new vehicles, a decision was taken to follow the example of Panzer Jager 1 and equip a quantity of out-of-date chassis with high-performance, heavy, anti-tank guns. The Martyr tank destroyers used three different chassis and were designated Martyr 1, 2, and 3. When they had invaded France in 1940, German troops had captured around 300 so-called Lorraine tractors, small supply vehicles with their front-mounted engine. Little attention was paid to them initially. It was only with developments in the East that their existence was remembered. On his own initiative, one Hopman Becker, an artillery captain and engineer stationed in France, had equipped his battery with self-propelled guns made by members of the unit from British Mark Sixes. Hitler had been so impressed that a production unit named Bosta Becker was formed with the task of developing an appropriate use for the captured French vehicles. An order was duly issued on August 25, 1942 for the construction of a light tank destroyer to be named Martyr 1. It was initially planned to convert around 160 of the French tractors. 60 were to be turned into anti-tank vehicles with a 75mm Pac-40 L46 and the rest into self-propelled artillery guns with 4 inch or 105 millimeter and 5.9 inch or 150 millimeter howitzers. When other lowering tractors became available, they too were fed into the program. The vehicle's running gear was highly durable. So this example here is a martyr based on the chassis of the Lorraine tractor with a 75 millimeter Pac-40. Both the tank destroyers and the artillery vehicles were fitted with a box shaped superstructure made of armor plating up to 12 millimeters thick. The anti-tank vehicle weighed just over 9 tons. It's Delahaye 103TT inline six cylinder engine was ca capable of powering it to a top speed of 24 miles per hour and it had a range of 93 miles. 184 vehicles were converted from 1942 onward, almost all of which remained in France. Only a few found their way to Italy or the Eastern Front as and when their units were redeployed. Together with other improvised armored anti-tank vehicles based on captured French vehicles, these self-propelled guns were named Martyr 1. Most Martyr 1s were involved in the Battle of Normandy from mid-1944 onward and were lost in the fighting. The Martyr 2 is based on the chassis of the Panzer 2. Initially, it was equipped mainly with the 3-inch 7.62cm Pac 36R or a 3-inch 7.62cm field gun captured in Russia, later with the German Pac 40 L46. Excuse me. To start with versions D and E of the Panzer II, the so called Schnellkampfwagen fast fighting vehicle, were converted. 185 in total, including 30 that had previously been converted to Flamingo Flam Panzer II flamethrowers. The turret and the rest of the Panzer II superstructure were removed in order to make room for the centrally positioned anti-tank gun, which was then surrounded by a box, a box-like guard up to 14.5 millimeters thick. STKFC 132. Once all the available Panzer II Aus Ds and Es had been converted, it was a turn of Aus F, which meant a further 50 Martyr IIs could then be produced. Following the great success of the weapon on the Eastern Front, new orders were received and versions A, B, C, and F of the Panzer II were also converted. 
These differed slightly in appearance to the earlier Martyr II model and were designated SDKFC-131. The Martyr III self-propelled gun was based on the Panzer 38T. chassis and was produced in greater number, 1,143, than either of the two, the other two martyrs. The first version, Panzer Jager 38T SDKFC-139, Martyr III, appeared in March 1942 and was equipped with the Russian 3-inch 7.62 centimeter anti-tank gun mounted on the upper part of the hull and protected only by a small guard. 344 guns of this version were produced. The next version, STKFC-138 Martyr III, House H, had a 3-inch 75mm Pac-40 with a special 0.4-inch 10mm thick guard that was far more substantial than that of the first version. These first models were slightly top-heavy. However, and in the next version, SDKFC-138 Martyr III, Aus M, the engine was therefore shifted to the middle of the vehicle and the fighting compartment moved to the back. This resulted in a far better balanced vehicle with a larger fighting compartment. The main armament and the thickness of the armor remained the same. Changes to the engine, however, boosted output to 150 horsepower. Between 1940 2 and 44, 418 Aus H's and 381 Aus M's were manufactured. So right here we have the Marta III Aus H of a tank destroyer battalion with the 9th Panzer Division, Kursk, July 1943. This is the overhead view. It's a good one. And this is Marta 3 Aus H with 3 inch 75 millimeter Pac 40 seen from above. <laughs> it's quite open. And again, here's the French Martyr or Martyr 1. German Martyr, Martyr 2. And the Czech Martyr, Martyr 3. And that is a Martyr production. <laughs>